Welcome back, you guys. This is my very first Harry Potter video. And as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail you'll, you'll see in a minute, this is my top 10 Harry Potter characters. What I'm gonna be doing this time is I'm going to have a black screen with a number and then the name of the character. Then I'll show a picture of the character and then I'll come on screen like I am now and explain why I like the character and why they're at the number that they are. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I have always loved Neville. Because everybody knows that one guy that's always, 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 you know, shy, awkward, and and if I do say myself, a little dorky. But, obviously as the series progressed, Neville really showed that he was truly a very, very, very talented wizard. And believe it or not, the prophecy that Harry is a part of, Neville's a part of it. And I'll get into that in a different video, but, but yeah. Though he might be headstrong sometimes, and kind of, well, as I said, a dork, he always looks out for his friends, and he does what he can to help. And so that's why Neville is at number 10 on this list. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why is Draco Malfoy on this list? Well, believe it or not, I've always enjoyed his character whether it be his humble beginnings when he was just point was just a jerk and as the series progressed you find out that he's actually truly good when he refused to kill Dumbledore and overall he does his best to try to impress his dad which sadly he never does which I personally believe that's why he was such a jerk to get his dad's approval but at the end of Deathly Hollows part 2 he truly shows that he's not evil he does not have a taste for murder and he truly regrets ever becoming a Death Eater and as we learn in the, ha in the uh, Cursed Child he later went on to work with Harry and Hermione and so much like Riku in Kingdom Hearts, he started out as a villain, but in the end, he was truly good. He shows that regardless of how far you fall from grace, there's always a way back to the dawn. And that is why Draco Malfoy is on this list at number nine. The main antagonist of the Harry Potter series, Voldemort starts out as this unknown entity that shows up many, many times throughout the series, even before his resurrection in the Goblet of Fire. Now, there's not much we know about Voldemort at first, but we find out that he was the heir of Slytherin, and obviously he killed Harry's parents, but also he had a lot in common with Harry. Of course, if you watch the Chamber of Secrets, it's explained why. And overall, he was just a really, really great villain. Scared the crap out of me as a kid, but but that's why I like him so much. And that's why Lord Voldemort is at number eight on this list. I could not separate these two because they were both identical in physical appearance and in personality. Fred and George are sort of the comic relief of the Weasley family. Though they're not always funny, they still do their best to make people laugh. They're always there for Ron and Jenny. And after Deathly Hallows, they give Ron a job. Well, George gives 
run a job at the junk shop because sadly Fred dies at Fred dies in Deathly Hallows Part 2. But I've always loved them. I always thought that they were funny. And that's why I enjoy them so much. And that's why they are on this list at number 7. As the smartest character of the series, Hermione shows that she truly cares for Ron and Harry. And though many believe that she would end up with Harry, she just could not deny her feelings for Ron in the end. And though she can be emotionally unstable, she's still a very, very talented witch. She's very, very smart, very, very caring. And most of all, she does her best to help her friends and obviously provide us with information. And I just could not leave her off this list, and so that's why she's on this list. The youngest member of the Weasley family and, and best friend to Harry and Hermione, Ron at first is very awkward and dorky like Neville, but at the same time, you can't help but laugh at him because despite his many, many quirks, he's a very serious character in the end. He truly cares for his friends, his family, and he truly shows that he when when the chips are down you can rely on him and so that's why he's at, on this list at number five the title character and the main protagonist of, of the series harry starts out as very new to the wizarding world though he grows up in an abusive household he, he knows to show compassion to others. And though in the Order of the Phoenix, he goes through this phase where he is just angry all the time. It's revealed that it's because Voldemort is a part of him. And at the end, he even sacrifices himself. Even if he does get revived in Deathly Hallows Part 2, he sacrifices himself for the greater good. And that's what truly makes him a hero. And that's why Harry is on this list at number four. The most strict professor at Hogwarts and the bravest character of the entire series. At first growing up, like many people will tell you, I freaking hated Snape. But... In the end, he truly deserves to be very, very high up on this list. He protected Harry the best he could, though he might be very strict and very, very well mean person. Overall, he is very, very good, and he played a double agent for both Dumbledore and Voldemort and he truly redeemed himself to many Harry Potter fans and that's why Snape is at this that's why Snape is on this list at number three now I know what you guys are thinking why isn't Dumbledore at number one well it's because I have always loved Dumbledore, as any Harry Potter fan has. I just... The guy at number one, I like for many more reasons than I like Dumbledore. But I like Dumbledore because he is the mentor that we all wish we had. He gives Harry many, many words of wisdom, even in death. He says, do not pity 
the dead, Harry. Pity the living, especially those who are without love. He is so wise, even in death. He is one of the wisest wizards you'll ever meet in the Harry Potter series. In the Harry Potter series. And that's why Dumbledore is on this list at number two. And finally at number one, Sirius Black. At first, Hagrid was my favorite character. I, I didn't have him on this list just because I didn't really have enough time. But I've always loved Sirius Black because he is the embodiment of a father figure, especially to Harry. He died protecting him, the same as Snape. And I just overall, overall just really love him as a character. I love his actor, Gary Oldman. And his death is one of the saddest of the entire series. And I've always loved Sirius Black because he's the dad that everyone wishes we had. And he overall knew what it was like to live in Harry's shoes, to be misunderstood. And that's why I love Sirius Black so much. And that is why he is on this list at number one. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta tell you, doing this is a lot easier than that Kingdom Hearts video I put out last week. Because the voiceover thing, it just drove me crazy. I had to do take after take after take after take. So whenever I do a countdown like this, I'm just gonna do it like I did this video. So thank you all for stopping by. See you next week for my very first Star Wars video. And for the Kingdom Hearts fans, within a few weeks I'll have a video ready that all of you will want to see. Until then, see everyone.